Welcome back to the Troubleshooting Life Podcast. I'm your host, Craig Poston, with my co-host, Jay Peters, where we talk about various topics, sharing our experiences on life and finance. Unfortunately, um, I didn't get accepted to college for that. I was trying to go to college for that. Didn't get accepted. I got accepted for stuff like uh, accounting, yeah, which was like my third choice. Um, so I didn't want to do accounting. Hey, so we'll get to the podcast here. Yeah, uh, like we did last time, I was interviewed. Now this time, I get to interview you. Yeah, yeah. So we we'll see how this goes, especially since we're doing this in person. Too. Yeah. <laughs> so. All right, uh, let's 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 start with the the first part here. Uh, we're gonna, you know, let you introduce yourself. Uh, you know, what do you do professionally, and like what, uh, you know, where where you're from, what how you know, different things like that. Yeah, so to kind of go through. So my name's Jay Peters. My actual name is Jay Tatsuya Peters, but I just go by Jay. It's a lot easier to say, a lot quicker. Uh, I'm originally from uh, Honolulu, Hawaii. Uh, born on the island of Oahu. Uh, my mom was. Um, active duty military. Uh, after 9-11, both my parents, they were working in tourism. And of course, 9-11 kind of killed that industry for, for that amount of time. Uh, so my mom <clears throat> joined the military. We uh, moved here to San Antonio, Texas. This was her first duty station. Uh, moved around a bunch more, a few more times, just, you know, living the, the military yeah. uh, brat lifestyle, which was great for me uh, personally, because we got exposed to a lot of things. Uh, of course, you know, going from Hawaii to the Texas is totally different, um, yeah. going, and then we went overseas and that's totally different. Um, so I think getting exposure to different cultures and different way of how like people interact with each other was incredibly powerful for me. Um, but yeah, so, uh, you know, moved around a bunch, but she got out after like 11, 12 years of active duty, uh, came back here to San Antonio, finished up high school here. I, uh, enlisted out of here. Uh, after enlisting, I went straight into the reserves. Um, just because, uh, I saw how my mom's, uh, lifestyle was during when she was on active duty and she, uh, was trying to do school and I really wanted to focus on school. So I was yeah. like, I can't do, or from what I saw, my example was that active duty and school were not always going to be simple and easy to do. So I was like, I want to do reserves and I want to do, uh, school. So did that, came back, started going to college, got a few certs, started working in an industry, uh, specifically in IT and cyber. Um, you know, got my bachelor's, was, uh, working as an engineer at the time. And fortunately that company was also willing to pay for my master's. So yeah. they got me my master's, uh, uh, and then I, you know, got to become a senior engineer and further and further. So right now I'm a tech lead or a team lead for a infrastructure team, um, that focuses on a lot of automation. Um, and it, I have my master's, I have my bachelor's, I have a few, uh, certifications, you know, throughout that entire journey, I was also trying to work on different like financial goals. So I got a house in 2020, uh, with the intention of renting out the rooms. So I did that. I was able to save a lot of money. So I was able to, uh, get two more properties last year and that's been going well. Um, and right now, like professionally, I've been really thinking about it. So I've had like a lot of PTO built up recently. So I've been using it this past week and this for this upcoming week as well. So one of my goals for this time in PTO was to come up with a 10 year plan. Uh, 10 year plan is in like in 20, 2033, what do I want to see my life at? And then how do I peel that onion back enough to, on what things I can do now? Yeah. Or say if I wanted to get, you know, a six pack in 2033, like what can I do now or up to then to, you know, you know, drop weight, drop body fat, whatever it is. Um, and that's just like one example. I think that's a little bit of a simpler example while it's simple to say, not simple to do, um, <laughs> or not easy to do, but like. There's certain things like what I want my family to look like, what I want, um, uh, you know, finances to look like, what I want, you know, my businesses to look like in the future. That's just been what I've been focused on in the past like week or so. Um, but other than rambling, that <laughs> no, that was good, man. Years, <laughs> uh, working as a tech league right now and uh, trust trying to kill life. Okay, that's that's definitely better than how I did it. I was uh, I started rambling before I even get the the rest of me out, but. <laughs> Like Did he introduce name. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think I introduced myself like throughout the whole thing yeah. instead of like focused on the question. So yeah, this is good though. You're actually focused on the question now. Hey y'all! If you didn't know, 
Mine and Craig's mission is to bridge the gap between generations by empowering, exposing, and educating others about financial literacy, new perspectives, and life goals. We can't do that without reaching more ear holes. So if you enjoy this content, then please share this to at least one other person to help us expand our brand and their minds. All right. So what what inspired you to go into uh, IT? So IT, honestly, uh, so I've always, I mean, I grew up in the technological era. So I think technology has already always been around me. Um, you know, video games have always improved certain things. And in high school, I took a, a computer science class uh, focusing on Java programming. And I thought I was going to do something like that. Uh, later in life, I wanted to become a biomedical engineer. Yeah. Uh, for those that don't know what a biomedical engineer is, it's just a person that uh, they can do multiple things, but they'll either improve or make medical equipment. Yeah. They can also work on stuff like prosthetics or like the robotic arms. So that's like something I really wanted to do because both my parents, they have worked in the medical field for like a combined like 30 years. Okay. Right. So it's just something I saw them do. I saw the medical field. I see that that's always a growing field especially as I was younger. Um, but I also liked a lot of science, technology, and engineering. So that's what I wanted to go towards. Unfortunately, um, I didn't get accepted to college for that. I was trying to go to college for that. Didn't get accepted. I got accepted for stuff like uh, accounting, yeah, which was like my third choice. Um, so I didn't want to do accounting. So I said no to college. I uh, decided to go to the military, and I was going to go into the Navy as a uh, hospital corpsman. Hospital corpsman doesn't exactly do that, so the uh, luckily and thankfully there was a, a PS or a personnel specialist um, at the Navy recruiting center here, um, and he had said you don't want to do that. Yeah, like with whatever as I was score ahead of the time, like these are like better options in his opinion, right? Um, so he you know chose like it was like IT, cyber, a few other things, and the one I wanted had or the one that one of them had like a uh, sign in bonus. So I was like, okay, I'll go with that one. Right? Yeah. I, I heard money and I was like, I'm going to go towards that one. Um, so it was honestly just all by happenstance. Like me getting into IT was all not necessarily luck, but it was like not necessarily like highly probable just from my standpoint. It's not like something I, I was like, I'm going to do IT. I'm going to do cyber. Yeah. It was just something that kind of stumbled upon. Um, and like I said, very thankfully. So I joined the Navy as a cyber analyst. Um, really enjoyed it just because of how much I was learning. From it, it wasn't easy. So all those things kind of filled, um, you know, my my growth type of, uh, I guess, mindset. Yeah. Where I was like, this is something I don't know, something that's not really easy at the moment, um, something that's definitely going to be profitable in the future. And I was like, I'll stick with this. So when I came back and I started uh, going to college, I went to college for cyber and uh, I started working in the cyber industry and it was really cool. Uh Got, you know, a, an analyst job it was kind of boring, but, uh, they allowed me to go into like the back end stuff and work as like their infrastructure person for their support. And I was like, okay, this looks cool. It's still kind of boring. Cause I can't do as much, at least for that specific role, I can't do too much. Yeah. Um, but then, uh, and then I got an infrastructure for ISS, right. I was working with ISS and that was probably the role that fit like all my growth that mm -hmm. I ever wanted. Right. It was like, where, and of course you're on the team where you've been on the team where you have to learn everything, right? You have to be like a jack of all trades, master of none, um, or master of some maybe, but, uh, definitely the jack of all trades and learning that it was, it was awesome for me. Um, and I still love it to this day. So it's, a uh, that's what really got me into IT, just being able to learn a lot. I think it's just more, more growth rather than the industry itself. Um, like I, I could probably say the same stuff about like medical, I could say the same stuff about finances, but it was mostly the, the growth aspect of something I didn't know that I wanted to know yeah. that I can also see as profitable in the future. Yeah. No, that, that is definitely what I see a lot of, uh, with being in IT is, is the growth. Uh, you, you can go down one rabbit hole and then come out of that and go into another rabbit yeah. hole. So it's, yeah, that, I think I, I like that. Uh, and, and that's probably why I continue and it, it, it really does intrigue me. Yeah. So that's kind of why it's like hard to kind of let that go. Maybe if I was making a lot more money in business, uh, you know, or it's something, something else on the side, maybe I'll, I'll let it go. But as it challenges me and all these other things, so I can, I can actually see, uh, yeah, sticking around because of the growth. Yeah. And, and to kind of help, uh, illustrate like what we mean by like growth in it, if anyone's ever gone to like a hospital and you see like the different departments. And you see hospitals are pretty large. 
that's basically how IT is, right? IT has different departments. Like it's not just like regular, you know, system administration where you're making people's accounts, right? Yeah. It could be networking, physical administration, security, uh, software development, right? Infrastructure yeah. development, whatever it is. So there's definitely like a plethora. Like when we say IT, it's a very broad statement. Yeah. But it there's a lot of stuff that goes into exactly IT. just like it, there's a lot of stuff that goes into healthcare and a lot of stuff that goes into finances. Yeah. Hey everyone, quick interruption. I just wanted to say from both Craig and I, thank you for taking the time to listen to us and our random rambling about life. If you have enjoyed this and think even one other person will enjoy this, then please share out this link, whether you found us on YouTube, Spotify, Google Podcasts, or any other platform. It costs no money and little time, but would have a great positive impact for our podcast and brand. All right, enough with the shameless plug. Let's get back to the podcast. All right. So then what are some mentors or role models that have uh, influenced you with uh, personal growth? Oh, man. So definitely uh, I have a lot of mentors. So like one of my very first or initial mentors, especially as I came back from um, uh, active duty training, uh, when I came back to San Antonio was my uh, what we call an LPO, which is a leading petty officer. So Mm -hmm. like your uh, NCO and uh, other branches. Um, And literally one time I was at the gym, he gave me a call. Uh, he's like, Hey, what do you want to do in life? I was like, well, I really like this IT stuff. Like it looks good. So I, I want to stick with that. He's like, cool. What are you doing? I was like, I'm about to start college here in like a week or so. He's like, man, I'd, you know, go to college, definitely go to college. I'm not going to say don't go to college, but what you really need right now is like experience. And to get experience at first, you need to get some certs. So here's a couple of certs that I recommend. Like, I'm not going to you know, help you. I'm not going to baby you through it, but this is what I'm going to tell you. You go and get it however much and then or however long that takes you and then there's some people here that would just like yeah start you off in an entry level job for a decent amount of money i was like okay cool like and it was like it was like one of those things where um like i'm like one of those people like you just pass me the rock and i want to go yeah right so uh it, it was just good like it like i didn't need a lot of guidance i mean i'm sure i had more questions after that on like what exactly do you and be specific the the certs that he was telling me to get were like the sec plus and the ceh at that time um and which aren't like incredibly hard certs but they're not like incredibly uh entry level certs so i studied got them within like six or nine months whatever it was and started working in the industry so uh, i definitely take that as a great uh as him being like a great mentor at that time um but i've also like learned to find like other people as mentors like so i i see people as like uh you know someone you want to be or someone you don't want to be, right? So I think I take both of them. So like if I see someone, uh, say if it's like uh, in fatherhood, right? I see that they're complaining about their kids. They're not, they're complaining <laughs> about their wife, right? Like, they, they, like you know, I've met them, bro. Like I've met a lot of people where like, they're just gonna, you know, they're just complainers, right? And I'm like, well, that's something I don't want to do. So yeah. I see that person as someone I don't want to be, right? As someone I want to be the antithesis of. And then there's people where, you know, I see that they take care of the kids. They see they you know, talk well about their wives and, you know, whatever it is. Now, like, okay, well, that's someone in the bucket that I want to be. So I take like a lot of people as like indirect mentors. And I want to say I haven't had like too many direct mentors. Like I've had people like when I was in college, they've helped me, uh, like, like I said, small things. Like they'd give me like little tidbits, like, Hey, go look at this or Hey, go do this. Yeah. I, I would just take it and go with it. Uh, like I remember I had a, uh, one of my first mentors in, um, when I was in college, he was like my first professor because he was also Navy and he was IT and he was working in the industry and I was like, holy crap. So uh, so I took a lot from him and he, every time I would come by one of his classes after that, he's like, man, this is my, my best student because uh, I actually just, I just took the information. And I think that's a lot of people was like, you're giving people information, but are they really taking it? Yeah. Like, are they really understanding like what you're saying to them? And it's because like, and it can come into different levels. Like if I'm talking to a child, like, do they understand what I'm saying? Like I could go tell a kid right now, Hey, go get psych plus. But what does that really mean to them? Right. Do they, yeah. do they really care? Like, and so like, if you're telling people something and you're wondering why they're not like reacting to it or giving you the same uh, acknowledgement, that's because they either don't understand or that's not part of their, their life right now. So yeah, no, that, that's pretty good. Man. Thank you everyone for listening to troubleshooting Life podcast. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you next week. All right. See you next week.